uh, new assignments within our police department. Five is a modification of the chief's contract, uh, chief's working agreement, whatever we're calling it. Uh, six is to approve a temporary full-time uh, position um, for uh, an employee in the PD, who, uh, an employee that's already there, but just to extend uh, his time. Seven is to authorize the supervisor's signed copyright maintenance agreement with Atlas Star Digital. Eight is to authorize the supervisor to sign a maintenance agreement for police uh, voice recorder with business electronics. Nine is to authorize the supervisor to sign an agreement with custom monitoring for impound lot security monitoring. Ten is a waiver of uh, liquor license uh, renewals. Eleven is to authorize an antique car show at Locust Grove. Twelve is a bid award for uh, continuing work on our infrastructure, sanitary sewer pipe cleaning and inspections. And then we have two special consent items. Uh, SC1 is authorized the supervisor to sign uh, Hudson Valley Community Center swimming lessons agreement, basically renewal of that agreement from last year. And two is to authorize the participation slash execution of a shared services contract comprehensive watershed protection planning uh, agreement. This is a, a grant application we're going to make um, with the uh, Village of Wappagers Falls um, to the state. And we have uh, Scott Williams, one of our uh, villages grant writer here with us, but he um, we've we've shared in these grants before, and Scott's written up the uh, application, so he's here to provide any information you might have. So I'd like to spend the rules for public comment or questions on agenda items. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Is there anyone here to speak to agenda items? Nothing? All right. Seeing no one, I make a motion to resume the rules. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Bill? Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby approve the assignment of police officer Jason Guy to the position of detective at a yearly salary of $93,462, effective June 6, 2016. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Just like to congratulate uh, Officer Guy on this um, new assignment to the position of detective. Um, Jason does a good job in our our department, and uh, I think he's deserving of this, uh, This we can call this a promotion, correct? I'm going to call it a promotion, yeah, sure. this promotion. Congratulations, Jason. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie is hereby approved the assignment of police officer Colin Bell to the position of a detective at the yearly salary of $93,462, no cents, effective June 27, 2016. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. <clears throat> Excuse me, any discussion? You better say all those same things or else you're going to be in real trouble. I probably can't remember exactly <laughs> what I said before, but basically, yeah, I reiterate what I said. Uh, Officer second. Bell certainly uh, deserves this um, this promotion, and I uh, want to wish you congratulations on this. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Resolve the town board, town of Poughkeepsie, is hereby approve the assignment of police officer Aaron Beal, the position of detective at a yearly salary of $93,462, effective June 20th, 2016. So moved. Second. Sorry. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Aaron, uh, we want to congratulate you. Obviously, you're deserving of this uh, promotion. Uh, well, anyway, I can <laughs> tell lots of some stories, uh, but Aaron's a, a great officer, works hard, and uh, it's safe to park in certain spots now that you've become a detective, I take it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Okay. Most of our most of our audience is leaving, so uh, we'll just wait a minute. It's a female. Yeah, I thought of that. I think people probably <laughs> recognize that we are. On I'm Arlene. I, I, thought, I thought of that first detective. No, I don't think she is. Is that a police officer? Yeah. Chief, that's not our okay. Um, not our first female. Today. Joe. Yep. Where is where is the town board of Town Poughkeepsie by resolution five four dash number fourteen of twenty sixteen authorized the execution of a contract with Chief of Police Ronald J Sparrow. Junior for the 2016 through 2018, and where Chief Sparrow was promoted to the rank of the chief in May of 2015, and his base salary as set in 2015 was carried over on uh, carry on into 2016. Now, therefore, given the chief's considerable efforts in successfully transitioning of a new senior administrative team for the department, now therefore, be resolved that the that the supervisor is authorized to execute and modify contract with Chief Sparrow to provide for 2% increase in his 2016 salary exclusive for longevity pay with subsequent, subsequent, subsequent. <laughs> subsequent year adjustments which continue to track the PBA contract, which 2% increase shall take effect upon the adoption of this resolution. So moved. Second. second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All those in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Great job, Chief. Keep it up. Okay. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby approve the temporary full-time employment of Thomas Cumberford for a period not to exceed 90 days starting on Monday, June 6, 2016 and ending on or about Friday, September 2, 2016 for the purpose of clearing any backlog of work and allowing Ed Kohler time to continue to train Mr. Cumberford into the position of network specialist with the Town of Poughkeepsie Police Department. So moved. Second. Okay. No motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Number seven. Be it resolved that the Town Board of Town Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the supervisor to sign a maintenance agreement with Atlas Star Digital Document Specialist for the copier maintenance at the Town of Poughkeepsie Police Department for the agreement period from May 15, 2016 to May 14, 2017 at the annual cost of $2,000, which is no increase from last year. And be it further resolved that the town board further finds that it would be would not be in the best interest of the town to solicit alternative proposals or quotations for such service. And be it further resolved that the town board finds that this is a type two action requiring no environmental review. So moved. Second. Motion a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed the seven zero. Be resolved, the Town Board of Town Poughkeepsie is hereby authorized the supervisor to sign a maintenance agreement with the Town of Poughkeepsie Police Department and Business Electronics Inc. for <clears throat> Nice Call Focus 3 24 channel voice recorder, hard drive, and related equipment, which digitally records the police radio and telephone communication systems for a period April 15, 2016 to April 14, 2017, at the annual fee of $1,700. <clears throat> so moved. Miss Second. With motion and a second, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Bill number 9. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the supervisor to sign an agreement with custom monitoring for security monitoring of the police department impound yard 
for one year at the annual cost of $240, commencing May 1, 2016, with a termination date of April 30, 2017. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Yeah, Todd, I just want to thank the chief for all three of these here. He's kept them all basically in line with last year. One mm -hmm. of them actually went down a little bit, and one went up a tiny bit, so we basically stayed in net zero, which is good in these times. Yep, absolutely. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion passes 7 0. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie is hereby acknowledge receipt of a request on behalf of Texas Roadhouse 2323 South Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, for a waiver of the 30 day review period for a liquor license application. And be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie is hereby approve the town clerk's forwarding of a waiver and consent pursuant to the attached request. So moved. Thank you. Move motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Be resolved, Town Board, Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby acknowledge receipt of a request on behalf of Coyote Falaco Mexican Restaurant, 230 Salt Point, Turnpike, Poughkeepsie, New York, for a waiver of the 30 day review <coughs> period for a liquor license application. And be further resolved, Town Board, Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby approved the Town Clerk's forwarding of a waiver and consent pursuant to the attached request. So moved. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> motion passes 7 0. Be resolved that the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby approve the request submitted by Locust Grove, the Samuel Morse Historical Site, to hold an antique car show on Sunday, July 10, 2016, on the site of Locust Grove, 26, 2683 South Grove, Poughkeepsie, New York, and be further resolved that the liability insurance naming the Town of Poughkeepsie as an additional insurer has been filed in the Town Clerk's Office. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby award the bid for the Sanitary Sewer Pipe Cleaning and CCTV Inspection 2016 to the low bidder American Underground Services at a bid price of $41,592.50 pursuant to the recommendation of the town engineer and be further resolved that the supervisor is authorized to execute a contract agreement with American <coughs> Underground Services. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Uh, we've done work with American Underground um, before and uh, as I said, this is a continuation of a lot of uh, infrastructure work the town's doing, so this will help us along with that process. Uh, we have a motion and a second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Number 13. Be resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby grant special consent to the following items to it. One, authorized supervisor to sign Hudson Valley Community Center Swimming le Lessons Agreement, and two, authorized participation execution of the Shared Services Grant Comprehensive Watershed Protection Planning Agreement, and be a further resolved that upon the objection of any member of the town board, an item may be removed from the list and voted on separately. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 7-0. Whereas the town board, town Poughkeepsie, wishes to enter in a written agreement with the Hudson Valley Community Center, Inc., 110 South Grand Avenue, Poughkeepsie, New York, for to provide swimming lessons to town residents for summer of 2016. Now, therefore, be resolved the Town Board of Town Poughkeepsie is hereby authorized the supervisor or is designated to ex execute an agreement with the Hudson Valley Community Center, Inc., in substantially the same form as attached. So moved. Second. Second. We'll motion and a second. Any discussion? This is virtually the same agreement we had last year with the Hudson Valley Community Center to provide uh, swimming lessons to our youth. So... Is this um, a former JCC? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Yep. So we have a motion and a second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Special consent 2. Yep. Whereas the Tri Municipal Sewer Commission is preparing an application to Dutchess, to Dutchess County Planning and Development for the 2016 Municipal Consolidation and Shared Services Grant on behalf of the town, towns of Wappingers and Poughkeepsie and the village of Wappingers Falls. And whereas the purpose of this application is to study the Wappingers Creek watershed and con conduct analysis concerning future needed capital improvements for water, water quality and wastewater infrastructure improvements in the three municipalities, town of Wappingers and Poughkeepsie and the village of Wappingers Falls. 
and determines who, the eligibility for future grant funding opportunities. And whereas the Tri-Municipal Sewer Commission has secured $500,000 from this funding source in previous years to upgrade failing aeration <coughs> units and increasing sewer capacity, and whereas additional improvements must be made to maximize the newly acquired capacity in a manner which best promotes smart development and the protection of the Wappingers Creek, and whereas a feasibility study should be conducted to determine the most fiscally advantageous solutions to these needed infrastructure improvements, and whereas New York State has initiated a possible future funding source in the waterfall water infrastructure grant program that requires comprehensive planning prior to an application submittal, and whereas all costs of the application preparation are being supplied by the Village of Wappingers Falls, which is acting as the lead applicant, and whereas the grant project requires no local match, and seeing that all the funding will be provided by Dutchess County via this grant program, and whereas the application for this study grant is a type two action requiring no seeker review, now, therefore, be it resolved, one, the recitation above set forth are incorporated in this resolution as if fully set forth and adopted herein. Two, the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie hereby declares its intent to join with the Tri-Municipal Sewer Commission in the application to Dutchess County Planning and Development for the 2016 Municipal Consolidation and Shared Services Grant on behalf of the towns of Wappingers, Poughkeepsie, and the village of Wappingers Falls. Three, the Town Board hereby declares its support of this application in pursuit of the funding for comprehensive, comprehensive watershed protection planning. And four, the Town Supervisor is hereby authorized to execute any documents in connection with the said application and to supply any information needed to facilitate the application. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Um, this, this grant is going to be specifically for the area in the Town of Poughkeepsie that is serviced by the Chai Muni sewer plant. So just to make that clear, um, and um, we're basically gonna, we've got a certain amount of, of capacity there, and and so does the village and the town of Wappinger. And some of the study will be to see what our potential needs are down the road. You know, future build out, and if we have capacity that we can spare, um, it might be able to go to the village or the town because they may have more needs, and so. Um, we're hoping to get some money that'll help in that investigation. Scott, is there anything you think we ought to know or any questions for, as I said, Scott Williams, who does a great job writing these grants, uh, is here tonight. If anybody has any questions. Thank you. All right, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 7 0. Thanks, Scott. That brings us to the end of our agenda, so I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules for public comment on town issues. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Is there anyone here who would like to address the board? Yes, ma'am. My name's Lorraine Merwin, and I reside at 17 Hawkins Street in Poughkeepsie. I also own several other properties in the town and have many business pursuits. I'm pretty upset because I've made every attempt through talking to Mr. Safone, talking to Sarah in zoning, talking to the police chief in town, very nice conversations with everyone. Um, because of the zoning law, I'm not zoning, parking law that was changed in regards to my neighborhood. My neighborhood is 17 Hawkins Street, and I was affected by the college houses, supposedly, that they were trying to earmark for 12 p.m. to 8 a.m. They're not really affected. I went to court the other day for a ticket that I received because I didn't know the sign was put up when I returned from North Carolina. We parked in the street on April 7th. We got two tickets on two vehicles that were in the street. One was even for a snow ordinance, which was funny because it wasn't the snow ordinance. So I received $300 worth of tickets. The signs that were put on the road weren't even spelled properly. They were the wrong road names. I'm going to court about that. I have my court date. Unfortunately, I was saddened because you're trying to punish, supposedly, the college students. And they were all there with their mother's and father's debit cards. They all paid their tickets. I'm the only one that didn't. 
I called the police station, had a very nice conversation, and everyone's been very nice, but I haven't gotten any answers that were, that were for the help of me. Um, no one knows what to do to change this. I'm a citizen that pays $56,000 in taxes in the town of Poughkeepsie. I have many other business interests that put a lot of income into the town. I own a local daycare center. I own a specialty foods business. I employ 56 people. I can't believe that I can't go home and park my car on my street 12 p.m. to 8 a.m. when there's no snow ordinance so I can have people in my home after I work hard all day. I'm being told this is because of college students. Okay, then, if this is because of college students, why is it during the summer when they're not even in town? Why didn't it, why didn't it stop, you know, May 15th and start again September, whatever it is, they go back to school. I believe that this was started because when the petition went around, I don't buy the Poughkeepsie Journal, I don't buy any periodical. When this went around and there was a petition out, I was not asked by the person that was getting the petition signed and I live right next to him. The reason is there's a personal vendetta against my family with the person that has that. It's documented in the police department that there's a problem. I don't want to go into that right now. It's not the time or the place, but I feel this rule, law, ordinance, whatever it is, needs to be revisited. I have 47 people I spoke to in the past two weeks about this within the fourth ward that are willing to come with me to revisit this. It's absolutely ridiculous that I can't park my car on a summer night when I have people at my house quietly then I speak to one of my neighbors today and find out they had a graduation party last year for their son that's an honor student. Got a $250 noise nuisance ordinance ticket. They own a woodworking company in High Park. They raised their kids wonderfully. They were out in their yard and got a $250 no questions asked ticket because it's a no tolerance area because of Marist. No tolerance because of Marist. We're people raising children. I've helped raise over 2,700 children. I own a daycare center. We can't be a family in that neighborhood because the restrictions because of Marist are, are choking us out. I was just offered a cash offer on two homes I have in that neighborhood for somebody to make them in the college houses. I don't need the money. I don't need the cash offer. I want to keep my house I raised my kids in. But I may not. This is, this is pointless for people to have these fights all the time. I think it was sneakily done. I wasn't asked for the petition. It was posted in the Poughkeepsie Journal, which you shouldn't have to be forced to buy a paid newspaper or subscribe online to see a public notice. There's something wrong with that. That has to change. With the, with the advent of smartphones, there has to be some way we can log in free and see what's going on in our town. I just found out you had a YouTube. I didn't know it. No one told me. I'm not on the pulse of the community like that. I'm out raising my kids, raising other people's kids, paying my bills, building my business, having fun. But having fun is not getting a ticket when you come home from watching your daughter's husband graduate from Special Forces in Fort Bragg, Green Beret working his ass off for less than minimal wage, and I come home and get $300 worth of tickets and I'm just supposed to pay them? Punk college kids just, oh, here's my parents' debit card, and I'm not supposed to get upset. I'm very, very, very upset. I took all the right channels. I went to Sarah. I went to Mike. I went to the police chief. I went to the highway department. So now I'm here to say something needs to change. I need to have it revisited. I also, I'm not one to spread my own personal news in here, but my husband is disabled. He works every day. He is registered to be disabled. I asked Mr. Safone what I should do. I can turn this in and get a ticket for his car and also get the blue placard on my road outside of my house. I can get it painted on my street. I don't want to take that tactic. For my husband to get his car out of the driveway, he has to morph, move four vehicles around when it's a beautiful day, when he doesn't need to. I don't want to pull this card. I don't want to pull the ADA, get Washington to come to Hawkins Street to get blue letters put on my street. I want to be able to park there in summer months. I understand the snow ordinance. I'm not an ass. I want to be able to park there. Marist College, they do not contrib contribute as much to this community as people think they do. If you're going to lose families, you're going to lose families. All you're going to get is New York City developers, regular people that want to own nine homes. Right now, there's an internet company 
the um, in real estate company that has nine homes listed in the Woodlawn, Lake Street, Lake View. The streets, some of the streets that don't even have signs. It's only in my neighborhood and the next neighborhood because of the one neighbor that just has a bug up his butt about our home. He never calls about the people parked on the lawn across the street from him. That Today, there was a car parked on the lawn all day long. Didn't get a $100 ticket like I did. I got a $100 ticket from Sarah because I backed my car up because I do my own mulching because my husband can't for $100. Because my neighbor was watching out his window last year, the year before, whenever it was. And the third day I had mulch on there, I got a $100 ticket. Well, I paid it, whatever, you know, whatever, get a life. But this, is, this has gotten to be too much. When you walk up the street and you see these signs only on five, six, seven streets, whatever streets it is, that's discriminatory. It shouldn't just be one neighborhood. I went out today, got all my pajamas off, and I took 54 pictures on Lakeview, Woodlong, Buckingham, of the cars that are parked in the road, all college houses. That's not fair. If you're going to do this rule, do it within a one-mile radius, a certain foot radius. Draw a line on a map. Do every single person. But to do it when college isn't in, to do it just in two Two little tiny neighborhoods that have the nicest houses? Are you kidding me? They take care of their houses better than the rest of the people. No one's doing a great job because they don't have enough money to take care of them. But you're pushing out the families. You're pushing out people. I can't say in anybody, in honesty, you know, I'm going to sell my house. Please buy it for your family. It's a great family neighborhood. It's not. It's like the Gestapo. Can't have basketball in that. You can't have this. You can't have that. Because people want to be sour and bitter and sit inside of their houses and not see the value of... Basketball is bouncing are happy things. People ha chuckling in their backyard and laughing about their day, that's a happy thing. But not being able to do that at midnight, you can't, you can't watch you know, late night TV with your, with your kids and worry, oh my God, I gotta move my car, I'm gonna get a ticket. We got one ticket at 12.07 and we got one at six o'clock in the morning. So you can't park till eight o'clock. So if somebody goes to work 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning or decides they wanna go to the beach with friends for the day, in the middle of the summer, you can't have your friends park in front of your house so you can all go to the beach or a casino bus trip. Or, or maybe you have people coming in that you want to go to the historic sites. Come sleep at my house. It's okay. Let's go to the Franklin Estate. Let's go to Vanderbilt. You can't do any of that. So I need a solution. I need this revisited. I am willing to take it much, much, much further. I feel we were slighted. My neighbors feel we were slighted. There's three people on the petition that feel they were misled when they signed. They said it was only going to affect college kids. Not true. Never, and I think in that case, we always make it clear that if parking restrictions are placed on a street, it applies to everybody evenly. It's not fair. So. It's not fair. We're not, we're, not, we're not that demographic. We're not. Mm -hmm. Not at all. We bought a house in a development called Inwood Estates that has four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, four bedrooms that have a capacity of two people. We raised a family. We have a 26-year-old daughter. We have a 22-year-old daughter. They're now bringing their husbands to visit. We have the ability to have four cars. What are you going to do when they come? Not have company all summer long? Where are they going to park? Where, where do I even have an option? To park in the shopping center up the street? Well, I, I did explain to you on the phone that in a pinch like that for a short term, they can park on the lawn. Uh, you don't know when you're going to want to have some fun I'm in your saying, life. There is... The, there is advantage. Call Sarah. Sarah told me just yesterday, she said, no way can you park on your lawn. Don't you remember I gave you the $100 ticket because of your neighbor? But everybody has been cited up there that you has parked on You can't park on your lawn. It's against Sarah's ordinance. A $100 fine if you park on your lawn. I did it. I have one. You can go look. $100 because I was putting mulch in my lawn. So something needs to be revisited. I want it looked back into. I want it changed. I want them down. They weren't even spelled right. I don't feel that there was any even time for anybody to even know they were there. I came in at 12 o'clock at night. I got it at 12.07. Well, uh, you know, Councilman Zafone, as you know, is a councilman for your area. If you have other residents who you think feel the same, I, I would get a... You know, 100% get, I do. All right, get them to, you know, write letters and, and contact the councilman, and uh, I'm sure he'll take it under advisement. I've, I've tried that, though. I've tried that. Well, and, you and brought, Mike, you, well, honestly, you haven't. You, you said you're the only person that's called. I'm the only the, person that's called because I have to spearhead it to get somebody to really think that something's going to happen about it. So that's why I'm here right now. I'm here now in public to make a public plea to say this is one of the stupidest things I've ever seen in my life for taxpayers to have to go through because there wasn't a problem in the neighborhood. The problem is... One, two, whatever it was, people thought it was a problem because the kids were having a good time. We don't have a serious college house problem on our side of the street. We don't. 
Those kids come home, they're pretty respectful. Once in a while, they throw a bottle. They're going to be our future. They, they're entitled to have a little bit of a good time. So you go tell them, pick up your bottle, watch your mouth. Their parents aren't there to watch them. They're not totally grown up yet. All they need to be is treated with respect. Knock it off. Can you move your car? You're blocking my mailbox. Can you do this? Can you do that? It's really not that hard. It didn't need to go to this extent, Honest, but it's discriminatory. Honestly, there's a number of people that have called me regarding this that are appreciative of it on Lightford and Waldorf. I'm just saying, because the kids were walking back and forth in front of their houses at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning to move their cars, waking them up at night when they got to go to work in the morning. I don't think you're going to find that to be the case now that so many of them got tickets, because the second time I called when our neighborhood got them and they didn't, and then the police went over there to ticket them so I could get them riled up, I said, you need to ticket them. You didn't ticket them just like you ticketed me. But it's not fair that most of the college houses aren't in this affected area. Most of the college houses are on the other side of Fulton Street. I know it for a fact. I saw them this morning. 10, 12 cars. I have them in my phone. I've gotten, oh. call, I've gotten calls from people over there. They are looking at putting a petition together to get the parking restrictions added to that side of the road. It doesn't need to be a petition to even do that. It needs to be, if you want to extend the snow ordinance <clears throat> thing, to, instead, of, instead of April 1st, make it go to May 15th. Make it go to May 15th when the kids get out of school or whatever that day is. And then leave us alone for the summer. I understand the value. I understand the snow. I understand the college problem. But this is not fair in the summer months if you want to have a nice yard and you want to have a family and you want to have some fun. It's really unfair. Well, like I said, if, if you think there's others that feel likewise, have them, e you know, counsel Mr. Phones, email address, phone number on our website, have them reach out to him, contact I him. I want to know how to do it quickly, and I want to know you, how listen, to do it fast. Uh, listen, this is good. You, you've had, you've had, people Patty, have you've had, I'm trying to help you. You've had as much time as we can give you. You're not going to solve this tonight. You've made your point. What I'm giving you is direction on how to proceed, but that's that's the end of it. I mean, there's nothing we're going to you're not going to change the law tonight. And and Councilman Zafone is going to have to agree to change that law in order to change it. So what you're going to have to do is hope a number of your re the, your neighbors are going to be willing to come with you or to step up and speak on your behalf. Because I can tell you when when he worked to get this ordinance put in place, there were a number of them sitting here that supported it. So I'm just trying to tell you if you have other residents who you think feel the same as you. Have them. They don't even have to come. You've taken time out of your schedule to be here, and I, I think that's admirable. They don't even have to come. Have them reach out to Councilman Safone, either an email, letter, phone call. Let them know what their desire is. I'm sure he'll try to do what's best for the majority. Um, but that's the best I can do for you tonight. How do I make sure that not only this gets handled in my neighborhood, but the, the neighborhoods adjoining there, that that whole district, that whole area is treated equitably and not like separate par parcels? I've told you, I just said, I've been contacted by people over there that want this added onto there. They have some homework to do, and they're going to do that homework by getting a petition from the neighbors over there. Will they bring me that petition? Then we'll start having public hearings just like we did before. Yeah, I mean, all these have, none of this can, can go forward. The way this happened is it was a public hearing. Um, you, you know, we have to do it in a public setting at a board meeting. Residents have an opportunity to speak pro, con, for, against. Well, without only being listed in the Poughkeepsie Journal, that's very hard if you don't have You know, the, the paper. problem is, and I agree with you, uh, it costs us money to list in the Poughkeepsie Journal. I've asked our attorney for years. If there's another way, unfortunately, that's state law. We have to. Uh, I, I agree with you. I think it's ridiculous. Why, if someone wants a shed, do they get a letter in the mail, but they don't want for something like this? Well, I think you should have been notified of something like this. I did not like get a letter this. in the mail. None of my neighbors um, did either. I mean, a lot of them were sitting here, so None of my neighbors I, I don't did know either. how they found no out. No letter. No letter at all. I happen to agree with you. I, I think the Poughkeepsie Journal, is, it's an antiquated system, and unfortunately, that's the system the state's given us right now. We, by law, have to advertise in a daily publication and that's the only one that serves the town of Poughkeepsie. Um, All right. It'd be nice if we could do it electronically, I agree. Thank All you. Right, I'll do it. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else who'd like to address the board? I ain't seeing no one. I make a <coughs> resume the rules. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Be resolved. Be resolved. The town board of town of Poughkeepsie is hereby adjourned an executive session to consider the following matters to wit. One, litigation to discuss litigation strategy of the cases known as U.S. Specialty New Hamburg Terminals. Two, contract negotiations. Three, to discuss the hire and fire, promotion, demotion, employment history of particular individuals who need not be identified at this time. 
Four, confidential communication between attorney and client to town board based on attorney client privilege and be a further result of no action appropriating money. So moved. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Town board adjourns to executive session at 7.40 p.m.